Good evening, everyone. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. The time is 7.31 p.m. Mountain Time, September 18th on a Monday evening. What you're looking at is 400 years of sunspot observations. And what we're going to be talking about tonight is the grand solar minimum and what that is. What does that mean? Well, if you look on this picture, we have a mini ice age here from 1600 to around 1745 called the Maunder Minimum. We have the Dalton Minimum. Uh, in here is the another minimum and the modern maximum and we are headed into the grand solar minimum here called the mini ice age or the modern minimum this is my chart which you can find at solar shutdown on Facebook if you haven't been there I suggest if you're watching this video to go to solar shutdown and like my page you'll be updated on the grand solar minimum and its effects uh, as we deepen into this uh, cold phase now, what you're looking at is this number of sunspots that are recorded as time goes on. And what you can see here, these up and downs are the 11 year flip of the magnetic field on our sun, which is called a solar cycle. And some are big and some are small. And big and small means within, an ele uh, within any given time, the number of sunspots varies from let's say 250 back in 1950 to around 100 which was just around 2010 until today where we're uh measuring a lot less sunspots so the picture you can get here is there's up and downs at different levels the nested hierarchy of cycles i talked about in the last uh presentation i gave here are the last one two three four solar cycles we're at the end of solar cycle 24 this is up to date till today and you can see the waning nature of the amount of sunspots on our sun in fact from cycle 23 to cycle 24 there was a major drop off and the prediction is for that to continue in an epic fashion to near zero and this comes from work from this paper, The Heartbeat of the Sun from Principal Component Analysis and Prediction of Solar Activity on a Millennial Timescale. This is Zarkova Shepard and Zarkov and Pop Popova, and it's from 2015, and I'm going to have a link to this paper for you to read, um, as well as these charts. Now what you're looking at here is the heartbeat of the sun, which comes from that paper. And it, it, there is a sinusoidal wave pattern of the solar cycle predictability in their amplitude. And if you can see right here where we're at here at 2017, we are about to drop off into a time of solar quiescence, where in fact, it is unknown what happens in the central area around 2035, if the primer fields of the sun will actually fail. And will we come back up in amplitude in sunspots? The hope is that we will, so that we'll warm back up to normal levels. But there is some evidence to suggest that that may not occur. Now, if you look at global warming, it's all part of this upper high-end cycle here, where the double maximum peaks occurred in this warming uh, trend. The Dalton minimum is back down here, and the Maunder minimum is down here in this minor oscillation phase. But you can see the Little Ice Age, the amplitude is much less than the modern warming we've been experiencing. But what we're about to go into, the amplitude is far less than the Little Ice Age. So that's just a heads up. These graphs will be down there. And as time progresses, as we go into this small amplitude area, crops will begin to fail. Weather patterns will drastically start to change. And we're going to be talking about that a little bit tonight. Um, with the average first measurable snow in North America here easily being able to be determined, um, we can come and look at the forecast, which is about to occur here. So what is being forecast for the next week is over two feet of snow for thousands, tens of thousands of square miles up here. Look at that. And I'm going to give you a little drive by of what's happening. There is a huge trough coming down from the Arctic here. And this is a deviation from norm. It's over seven degrees cooler than normal here and through the 22nd through the 26th and then later in the week that's going to move into the midwest here causing temperatures to drop as low as six and seven degrees below normal here in the michigan iowa area where we could even see some, pick up some snow some record early snows here um, what i want to point out on this particular map here is that you're going we're going to be getting snow 
in the third week of September in some areas. And if you just uh, real quick want to do your own research, go to NOAA, climate.gov. NOAA, you know, the people that are telling us that the world is going to burn up. And you can just find this amazing interactive map on the first dates when the climate record says you can expect season to snow. And these are records here. And if we can look at some places it's going to snow, it's uh, November. And November 12th is the first time it snows. October 27th is the first time it snows. November 1st is the first time it snows in these, in these places. Where snow is forecast. Snow is forecast in these places. So what I'm telling you is as we descend into the grand solar minimum, snow is going to be, we're going to be breaking record snows um, all throughout this area. Let's just check. It's going to snow here this week. And the historic date of the first snow is November 2nd. You know, it's supposed to snow in this particular area this week. And the historic date of the first snow is November 9th. Take a, take a look at the, the data. It's going to be snow here on the 22nd. It should be snowing maybe in the Lewiston area. And this historic date of the first snow is November 13th. So the grand solar minimum is upon us. Um, these troughs, these extreme temperature changes is a pattern that we can go into the historic past during the Maunder minimum and see that this is what happened and this is why the crop failures occurred. And we'll be seeing this uh, into the springtime, just like last year we had uh, early May snows. And these troughs are going to continue as we descend into the grand solar minimum. Here are the forecast lows this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Look at these temperatures. 28 degrees in Butte, 27 degrees in Yellowstone Lake. These are cold temperatures, folks, below normal. <coughs> um, just show you some highlight, uh, some quick headlines from today. Snow warnings for British Columbia highways. Uh, this is a headline coming out today in the news. There's some snow warnings. Again, I hope uh, you got something out of the video. This is to get you up to speed on some climate cycles and the prediction of the grand solar minimum and what it means for us going into, just take a look down here, from 2000 to about 2050, we're going to be in a very low amplitude part of the solar the solar cycle here and you can do your own research and see what that's all about with the Zarkov paper here then the Zarkova paper um, so I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to our channel if you haven't um, I also suggest you subscribe to adapt 2030 the ice age farmer as well as suspicious observer if you don't know those three guys th there will be links to those uh, guys in the the bottom uh, in the description um, be safe everyone